a medical breakthrough, a partial heart transplant successfully growing in an infant for a year. Hi, buddy. Oh, hi. Born with a heart defect, Owen Monroe underwent the groundbreaking procedure in 2022 at just 17 days old. In a new study, doctors from Duke Health reporting the boy has functioning heart valves and arteries that are growing with him as if they were his own. I mean, this was completely uncharted territory. In the first of its kind surgery, arteries and valves from a donated heart were integrated into Owen's heart. Surgeons hoping this partial transplant provides a one-time yeah. fix. Other treatment options are not as ideal, like using valves from organ donors, which wouldn't grow with Owen and would require multiple surgeries to replace, or a full transplant with high doses of anti-rejection medications. And what we found is that with partial heart transplants, you're on about a quarter of that dose, and it's really a non-life altering dose. He went into stage four heart failure within a few hours after birth. And he was pretty much already out of options. It was terrifying. Doctors felt the best option for Owen was the partial transplant. I hit them with a the hard hitting, have you done this before? And they said on five piglets. And I said, I guess Owen's gonna be your first human. The eight hour surgery, a success. <laughs> Owen heading home 28 days later. <laughs> Today, he is a thriving toddler. Doctors optimistic there will be no surgery in his future. We are just eternally, eternally grateful for our donor's family. Um, truly, Owen would not be here today. And best of all, Owen has paved the way for 12 other children to have this life-saving procedure, including multiple babies saved by different parts of the same heart and babies with new transplants whose old heart valves can be reused. It's literally changing the world and it's incredible to just be a part of it. All right, what a nice uh, follow-up there. Again, that was Ariel Reshef bringing us that.